this is a very interesting story. When you're in an emergency situation, calling 911 is not always so easy. Now a nationwide push is underway to enable 911 dispatchers to receive your texts, photos, and videos in real time from a victim who needs help. Fox News' Laura Engel has the details. Lauren and Nicole, calling 911 isn't always possible when you're in a dangerous situation where being overheard could cause you serious harm. But texting 911 could save your life. We got the ambulance on the way for us. Calling 911 in an emergency is not always possible if you are in a dangerous situation where being overheard could bring you serious harm. But texting 911 could save your life. If somebody's you know inside their house or if they're in the trunk of a car and they don't want somebody to hear them. They can send a text message. We can still provide assistance to them. But text to 911 is not available everywhere. The service is only operating in parts of 36 states and Puerto Rico based on a call center's capability to accept texts. As of mid July, text to 911 became available in all of New Jersey, where some lawmakers say the service is an important part of the public safety toolkit. Especially when you consider situations like the Orlando, Florida nightclub shooting, when people were hiding and trying to send messages for help. If you're an active shooter, you can imagine we're getting live information coming in from a text 911 about how many people are in the room, how many shooters there are, if anybody's hurt. The FCC requires mobile providers to allow customers to text to 911, but because not all call centers can accept the messages, groups like the National Emergency Number Association have some concerns. My number one concern is this false perception of your ability to text to 911. The second concern that I have is that there needs to be leadership in communities across the country, state level, and even in Congress to ensure that texting is available for all consumers. And unless spelled out, texting in an emergency doesn't provide the detailed location information that a landline would. And that's why dispatchers say call when you can and text when you can't. Laura, Nicole, back to you. Laura Engel, thank you so much.